This video presents short background information on Nathaniel Hawthorne and his short story, Young Goodman Brown. The essential question is how does Young Goodman Brown help us understand the role of religion in early American life? Nathaniel Hawthorne was born July 4th, 1804. Notice the significance of that day. It's a very important American holiday. He was born in Salem, Massachusetts, which is one of New England's oldest uh, seaport villages, so there would have been a lot of ships coming in and out. And then Salem, Massachusetts, actually became the backdrop for a lot of his stories. Hawthorne was the great-great-grandson of John Hawthorne, and notice the difference in the spelling. There's no W in his great-great-grandfather's name. Um, John Hawthorne was a judge during the Salem Witch Trials, and we'll be talking a little bit more about those in the coming weeks. Here's a little bit of background information about Nathaniel Hawthorne. First of all, he was very proud. His family members were some of the first settlers in Massachusetts, so when you think about it, his family was very important in helping to establish the country. Um, at the same time, he also felt a lot of shame because of that connection to the Salem witch trials that I told you about in the earlier slide. His great-great-grandfather was one of the judges. And it was actually the shame from that that caused him to add the W to his name in between the A and the T. He was trying to distance himself from, from that family member because of his shame. So really, being proud and ashamed at the same time, that uh, caused him a lot of guilt and conflict, and that was really what drove his writing. He was trying to kind of reconcile or, or deal with those two conflicting emotions. As a child, he was an avid reader. Um, a lot of times he would go up to the top of his grandfather's house to read Shakespeare and, and Milton. Um, Shakespeare you're already familiar with, and Milton was a kind of a philosopher, um, religious writer. He wrote a, a famous poem called Paradise Lost, which you can Google if you want to learn more information about that. And then when it comes to nature, and this is going to play an important role in Young Goodman Brown, um, Nathaniel Hawthorne, he enjoyed solitude. He liked being alone. A lot of times he would prefer the woods and, and fields and kind of being out in nature as opposed to being with his friends. But once he became an adult, he kind of became ambivalent towards nature. So that meant that he, he had mixed feelings about it. Nathaniel Hawthorne attended Bowdoin College in Maine. And here's an interesting quote that one of his classmates said. He lives in a world of thought and imagination which he never permits one to enter. So again, I guess even this college friend kind of picked up on the fact that um, Nathaniel Hawthorne was at times, you know, very solitary and very, very private. Um, while he was at Bowdoin, he worked as an editor at a college magazine. And then when he graduated, he went to work at the Custom House. And you can see a picture of it right there in the slide. Um, basically, think about when you go through customs, if, if you're traveling abroad and, and then returning. You have to declare what it is that you bring. So Salem being a seaport village, ships were coming in all the time, and they would have to declare what they had on board and then pay taxes on it. So he worked there, and then he was also able to continue writing. And finally, here's a little bit of background information on Young Goodman Brown, the short story by Nathaniel Hawthorne that we're going to be reading next. First of all, it's an allegory, and hopefully you remember from the 10th grade that an allegory is a story where the events, objects, or the characters have some kind of a symbolic meaning. So as we're reading this story, and, and we're literally reading about what the characters say and do, I need you to remember that each character is also going to have some kind of a symbolic meaning as well. So allegories are often written to teach a lesson, and hopefully by the end of the story, you'll be able to articulate what it is that we can learn from young Goodman Brown and what it teaches us about the religious voice in, in early America. And then something else um, to know about young Goodman Brown, it's set during the Salem Witch Trials, and I've already shared with you uh, Nathaniel Hawthorne's connection to the Salem Witch Trials. There's a link here. It's also in our classroom locker that will take you to a video where you can learn a little bit more about the Salem Witch Trials. I really suggest that you click on it now so that you can better understand this story and then better understand the next text that we will be reading, which is The Crucible.